How to Build a Sustainable Planet. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 168. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 168, June 12, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the second 25% of the written content for the Humility lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects, to all learning levels, in any learning environment, using the central theme of humility, is now 50% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the third 25% of the written part of the Humility lesson plan. We also completed the third 25% of the mind map for the Courage lesson plan, bringing it to 75% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week in Highest Good Food, the core team finished the final texture adjustments and rendering for the tropical atrium. You can see the new image here. The core team also updated and reorganized the tropical atrium planting and harvesting plan page to include all the images created by Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer. You can see examples of these updates here. As part of the development of our food self-sufficiency transition plan, we added instructions for general procurement and preparation of root vegetables to our website as suggested by naturopathic Dr. Matt Martorano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revision for the footers, foundations, and flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was on editing and creating accompanying narratives to additional green step headings of section 10, construction of stem wall and dome. Due to previous changes that affected multiple areas within the FFF document, we combined some of the multiple entries into single entities and realigned others. We'd say we are now 85% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. In addition to this, Brianna Johnson, interior designer, continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here is the initial layout for rendering one of the studio residents and the initial render for the communal computer and study room. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 23 of his work that continued with adding more trees and textures to the Cobb Village overview images you see here. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book created by last year's intern team. What you see here is another revision of the SWOT analysis page 
and the work in progress for the Sustainable Design and Service Design pages. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on what is needed for the first renders of the natural pool and spa area aspects of the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was on the new locker and arch stone work around the Hobbit door access to the mechanical room and waterfall rock placement and textures for this area. Neha Verma, construction project manager and bachelors of architecture, also created this updated plan for the sections that her team will be creating. And Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, completed calculations for minimum number of lumens for each of the different city center areas. The results are seen here. Iris Su, industrial designer, also continued exploring recycled pipe shelving options for the Duplical City Center Library. What you see here is round nine of this work exploring additional shelving and lighting designs for the main spaces on the walls, along with art options to fill the space above. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued exploring how to create an open source and standardized presentation for highest good housing villages. Here are a few image examples. Steven Pislowski, graphic designer, also created these new images for the food self-sufficiency plan, omnivore and vegan meal plan pages, and several sets of icon ideas for the different highest good housing pages. What one community is engaged in is teaching people how to build a sustainable planet. Our idea is that if we can make building a sustainable planet easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated as attractive enough, then the idea and the concepts necessary to actually create that will spread on their own. Our path to doing this is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints, do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living, covering all the foundations of what we consider to be an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines those with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together and building all of the components and elements so they can be replicated as either individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub designed to teach others how to build a sustainable planet too by better meeting their needs than the way that they're living right now. Ultimately, we call this a solution model that creates additional solution creating models because the idea is that as people build sustainable villages, communities, cities, and hubs, which may be in urban areas or in rural areas, they can be designed and developed in any area, but we're starting with rural areas, as people build these, the idea is that each one will teach others how to replicate it, evolve it, and grow and create their own versions of sustainable living too. Specifically because it better meets their needs in the way that they're living right now. Self-sufficient, self-replicating, teacher demonstration, communities, villages, and cities, and hubs, which one community will be the first of, bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all to help create additional sustainable hubs all over the world. And those hubs teach additional people, and those teach additional people, and if you run the numbers, it's possible with our, within our lifetime to create a truly sustainable planet that meets the needs of every single person. Simultaneously addressing homelessness, social in injustice and inequality, education deficiencies, energy, lack of energy, food problems, all of these things simultaneously and many more, crime, war, poverty, all of these things simultaneously because we see them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. So we're addressing them all at once, together. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if you'd like to be a part of how to build a sustainable planet, we invite you to join us. We've got lots of different ways to do that, ranging from the pioneer team that will move to the property and build one community, the first teacher demonstration community, to just consultants and partners working behind the scenes, helping us to develop everything by volunteering their time and expertise, to just sharing our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks and every share, every like really helps a lot because to reach that tipping point of participation, 
that means we'll live in a world that works for everybody. We've got to get the word out. So we are on LinkedIn, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Twitter, we are on Pinterest, we are on Sue, we are on Facebook, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We need you to help us share that information. Also, of course, we're still looking for large-scale funding. It's not our primary focus right now. But if you or somebody you know has access to the resources to help us purchase the property, get the property off the market, that would be a big step in the right direction for us because it would allow us to take our whole open source process to the next level by doing a lot of open source things or open sourcing a lot of things that can't be done until we own that property. And we've been working around with the idea of, of purchasing the same property now and building relationships in that county for five years. So getting that property off the market would allow us to take our whole project to the next level. And so we're still looking for that as well. How to build a sustainable planet is no longer in doubt. We actually know this. As a species, we know how to create a sustainable planet. The issue right now is that not, not enough people want to. It's not easy enough, affordable enough, and hasn't been demonstrated as attractive enough so that the idea is spreading on its own. And so there are small groups of people applying the technologies that exist, moving the idea of a sustainable world forward, but it hasn't hit the mainstream. One community is here to open source and free share everything necessary to change that. This is how we create a world that works for everybody. So if you too possess the consciousness for the highest good of all and you'd like to get involved, you are definitely invited to join us. And uh, just watching this video, just sharing this video, just supporting us in this way is also very much appreciated. The small donations that we get, the $5, the $10, the $20 donations are hugely helpful also. Our expenses are greater than what we bring in. So those little donations help us to keep the project moving forward. None of us are paid. We're an all, pay, all unpaid nonprofit volunteer staff. So every dollar that's donated to us goes towards forwarding our mission. And so thank you for that. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your likes on Facebook. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to receive updates that way, send us an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com if you would like to receive updates via email. And of course, you can visit our written blog if you'd like more details, specifics, links to everything that I've shared here, all the open source content. Thanks again.